Okay guys, my name's Hugh James. I'm a science communicator who's very excited about the fact that it's 60 years since Watson and Crick discovered the double helix part of DNA back in 1953. And deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, is a, a large molecule that contains all the genetic information that's used for the development and functioning of basically all life that we know of here on the Earth. So to celebrate the 60 years since the uh, discovery of the double helix, what I thought we'd do is we'd extract some DNA from stuff you can find in your kitchen right now. Some water, some isopropanol, also known as rubbing alcohol, some beakers or glasses, some strawberries, some detergent, either shampoo or washing liquid, and some table salt. You'd also need some kitchen roll or blue roll to use as a filter and a food bag to use to mash up the strawberries with. To extract our DNA from our strawberries, and you can do this with any fruit really, uh, which is choose strawberries because they're a little bit more mashable, they're, they're a little bit easier to get the, the DNA out of. Uh, you're going to need to make an extraction solution, so something that the DNA uh, can be soluble in. All right? and for this we're going to use uh, a little bit of the water, so say about 90 millilitres of water. A little bit of shampoo, and what well, the shampoo will do, along with some table salt we're going to put in as well, is it'll break down the cell walls and make it a little bit easier for those cells to let the DNA out. That's what we really want, is the DNA to come out from the cells and into, into our extraction solution. So a little bit of table salt as well, that'll just encourage that too. And then mix it up. It may, might take a good couple of minutes to mix up, but do it gently so there's no bubbles. We just want a nice good solution there. So once you've made your extraction solution, that's going to go in a, a bag with the strawberry as well. So just get a normal Ziploc bag, something that's not going to, uh, not going to explode when you start mashing up the strawberries. That's happened to me before. And into this bag, you're going to put a couple of strawberries. You can put two or three. It's a good idea sometimes to, to freeze them before you do this to make them a bit more mashable or leave them for a couple of days out of the fridge so that they are uh, that little bit more tender. Brilliant. So that's your extraction solution and the strawberries in your bag. Try and get as much air out as you can. And what we're going to do is squeeze and mash these strawberries up so that we squeeze all of the, uh, the cells inside them. There's something called cell lysis where you through the power of squeezing and, and mashing, you break down all the cell walls and encourage the, the stuff that's inside the cells to come out into the extraction solution. And whilst I'm doing this, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel, just underneath, for more live experiments and science fun. So once you've got your mash of extraction solution and strawberries and hopefully DNA as well, uh, all this is gonna go through, we need to get these big bits out uh, through a funnel. So I'm going to use some kitchen roll or some blue paper uh, and through this we're going to pour all the extraction solution with strawberries inside it. And if you fold it once and fold it again, then when you open it out, you should have a little catchment area for all the strawberries to go. Uh, and if we put that inside our beaker, we're going to pour the strawberries into there. Not too much, because we want to need to make sure it actually doesn't explode. This is always the messy bit. Smells like strawberry shampoo and looks like a huge mess, but that's gonna be our DNA. And then I can push that through then, make sure I don't explode it. And you should see coming out the bottom is our extraction solution with DNA inside it. The thing about DNA is it's soluble in this extraction solution, but not in alcohol. So all we need to do to get it out is put some rubbing alcohol into it as well. And we should see it precipitate out and into the alcohol. And it'll sit on top of the solution, so the DNA should rise out. Okay, so you'll start to see all the little white bits starting to rise up. And that's the and DNA long polymers of repeating units called nucleotides. So inside this now, we've got these long polymers of DNA, and I'll try and fish one out. Getting DNA from a strawberry is relatively easy, and you can do the same with anything. You do the same with saliva if you like. So all the instructions that we need to make a strawberry are sat in this little solution. For more live experiments and science facts and fun, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? You can do so below. <laughs>